All right, so today we're going to do a toy review of Godzilla versus Kong by Playmates. So today we're going to do a review of Kong with Battle Axe and Godzilla with Heat Ray. And without further ado, let's get this review on the road. So here is Godzilla. We're going to start with him, the king of the monsters himself. He is well designed. He has a dark skin, but gray coloration on each side of his body. His arms can go all the way from his back, not 360. The legs forward and backwards, but I don't want, I want to keep him in this poseable form. He also comes with a battle damage, as you can barely see the little lines come in. I don't want to take it off because it looks way more better if you put the battle damage in it. He looks really realistic. I found out that his head can turn, but unfortunately, I don't want to do that. I don't want to break him, because you know what happens when you force um, joint locks, the joint articulation too much, you might end up breaking it. Uh, and uh, he also comes with an accessory, and his accessory is his atomic breath. If you look very closely, he comes a little Thing that you can attach to his mouth is is really translucent you can actually see through it like you know if you look over here if you look over here you can't see through it but if you move it over here you can see Godzilla's skin through uh, his atomic breath uh, it also comes with a little hole like you can put your your finger in there or your, your little pinky but that's all it that goes I guess that's what it's meant so let's put his atomic breath in place now you gotta shove it in there really hard because you know when i first tried it it fell off so you know unless you gotta put it like this there we go let's push him a little bit there we go now he looks like in the packages you know the back of the box he looks exactly like that and he looks pretty badass with that atomic breath i hope playmates keeps doing what they're doing they gotta make more of these like they gotta make Ghidorah, rodan Mothra, the Mutos, Behemoth, or all other other monsters that are in the legendary Monsterverse. They gotta keep doing what they're doing. The Atomic Breath accessory can also be suitable for Mecha Godzilla if you put it, because it has a little hole on top of his upper jaw. But if you watch my previous review of Mecha Godzilla, uh, go feel free to check it out on my toy review playlist. And finally, we have Kong, my boy. And this time, this is the first Kong that was released in Wave 1. And if you compare it to the Fire Jet Kong, the skin color is different. This one's darker, but the other one is gray, as well as his face and his hands. But other than that, he is badass as ever. Love the facial expression. He comes with a battle damage. I'm going to keep it in there. I don't want to take it out. Uh, same old as the Fire Jet, articulated arms, legs. The arms can go 360, forward and backward. Uh, he also comes with, as you already know, his Battle Axe, a.k.a. Stormbreaker. I'm calling it from now on. I'm calling it Stormbreaker. And you can call it whatever you want. I'm calling it the Stormbreaker. Uh, the axe is really, really well designed. I mean, look at that. It looks resemblance to Godzilla's dorsal fin, which it is. And the interesting part that I found out is that the axe is crafted not only Godzilla's dorsal fins, but is also crafted with a Muto, uh, one of its spikes. If you can tell, if you look closely at it, it, all, it actually looks like a piece of the Muto's bone. And whatever they wrapped it in there looks pretty strange. Uh, the only downside that I have with this figure is putting up the axe. Like, it's really tricky. I just managed to take it out. But it's really hard to put it back. There we go. The hand is really rubber. You got to go a little circle to put it back in. But other than that, it suits very well. Look at that. Kong, badass as ever with the battle axe. And he is ready to kick ass and fight against Godzilla. And that is it. That is my review of Kong with Battle Axe and Godzilla with Heat Ray. Coming up next will be the Warbat or Godzilla Radio Tower. It depends on my toy reviews. If you enjoy 
my toy review, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And make sure you turn on those notifications if you want to see more of my toy reviews, including Godzilla vs. Kong toy reviews. See you all later.